All right, let's head on out to, well, I guess it wouldn't be the track. We're going cross country is how we're going to be running right now as Brian Finnell and Alexa Richardson, the head coaches out at Middleton High School for cross country are here. And guys, welcome on in. And for everybody that hasn't seen you before or knows about you, tell us a little bit about yourselves and how you came to be head coaches at Middleton. Well, thanks, first off, um, for having us today. We do appreciate it. Um, so for myself, I've been assistant coach the past three years as an assistant for cross country and then the lead distance coach for the track and field program. Um, so for me, once uh, Mez and Cindy stepped down, just was a natural progression to kind of take over and want to lead the program like I've been doing in track and field and uh, just really excited to be the head coach and seeing what uh, new things we can bring to the team. Yeah, I uh, graduated from UW-Madison in 2012 and I pursued a career away from running for a while and I realized that I really needed to get back into it. and. I'm an assistant coach at Lodi High School for track and field, and then I know that Middleton's a huge program and very respectable, and so I applied, and now I'm with them. Excellent, and for head coaches too, you always gotta bring like a philosophy in. So philosophy-wise, what would you say is, you know, your philosophy for coaching and training distance athletes? You wanna take lead? Sure. sure. <laughs> um, I guess my biggest thing is I want to make sure that everybody knows that when they put what they put into it, they're going to go, they're going to get back from it. Um, it kind of goes hand in hand with everything else in life. And one of my biggest memories and best memories from high school and college is stepping up to the starting line and looking around and knowing whatever happens, I'm sure that I trained harder than everybody else on the line. So I guess. That's where I'm at. With Always that. good stuff. Now, as far as the program goes, well, what changes do you guys hope to bring to the program? Well, there's going to be new workout locations. Uh, we have a new like website design, uh, new uniforms this year. So it's kind of a fresh new look all around. Um, all the coaches besides myself are brand new. So we're just going to kind of change the workouts. In the past, we've done um, a little bit more speed to some degree. And you know, my philosophy is a little bit more of strength based, so more tempos, down tempos. So the athletes can probably expect those types of changes in the workouts and uh, hopefully we can get some team building activities still continuing like in the past. Always good to set some goals before the season starts. What are the goals that you guys have and expectations for your teams? Oh, well, we're hoping the kids like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always good. I mean, we're both two brand new coaches. Nobody knows much about us. Nobody knows much about where we're from or what we want to do. And we're really hoping that, um, you know, we are bringing a lot of new things to the program, but at the same time, we're not changing things for the kids too much so that it's totally different. We want right. them to stay in their comfort zone um, as much as we can too. Right. So. And then, you know, the large team go at the end of the year. Uh, we would love to get both programs back to state. You know, the mm -hmm. guys have made it now three years in a row, and we're hoping we can make it a fourth. The girls have been really close the last two years, missing out by four points and one point, respectively. So uh, we're just hoping we can kind of get better week by week and, you know, long-term goal, get back to state. Seems like a huge endeavor, nearly 150 athletes. Good luck to you guys uh, stepping you. in there now. Have a great season. Thank yeah. you very Thank much. You. Brought to you by Conant Automotive, taking care of you by taking care of your family's car.